This project is about you being creative and making this train applique your very own. Hello, I am Tamara from the sewing channel Tamara's Joy. And on that sewing channel, I like to bring to you beginner sewing tutorials, simple projects like the ones you see on the wall behind me here. And today I have teamed up with Michael Miller Fabrics and the Making It Fun YouTube channel to bring you a really fun holiday applique contest. I am so excited to share this with you. Now, all the nitty gritty details of this contest I am going to actually share with you at the very end of this video. So stick around to the end to find out how you can actually enter your project for this holiday applique contest. And at the very end of this video, I am going to show you the actual prize that you could win and spoiler alert it's fabric and it's gorgeous so I can't wait to show that to you for this contest we are going to be using a simple train template now this train template I designed to be fun and easy and beginner friendly so you're gonna find this template in a PDF download on my blog and you're gonna find the link to that blog post down in the description below so please check that out and I have to tell you that blog post doesn't only have the free PDF download for the train template I will also share all of the measurements that I used if you want to make the exact table runner that I made here. For this project you are going to need a bunch of scrap fabric. So pull out your scrap fabric bin. You will also need a larger piece of fabric as your backing fabric and then you will need some fusible. So the fusible that I love to use is heat and bond light. You can also use heat and bond feather light. Both will work great for this project. In the PDF you will find two different sizes. You will find a small and a large. Now the goal of this project is for you to make your very own applique. Now let's finally talk about how to applique your project. I want to go through all of the steps so that you know exactly what you're doing. Of course the first step is going to be printing out that PDF and choosing the train size that you want. Quick tip number one is if you want to print out this PDF on some cardstock paper then once you cut out all of those pieces it will be so much easier to trace your pieces onto your heat and bond but you don't have to do this I didn't I just printed it on regular paper and it worked out fine although I must admit I had wished I printed it out on cardstock once you've printed out your template then it's time to start cutting out all of those pieces but a reminder is this is your chance to get creative so maybe you don't want to cut out all of the individual squares that I have created in the train template maybe you just want the train to be one big big piece then cut it out that way. You can also add different shapes if you want or you could change the box car at the back. Of course I've created one little rectangle size but you could make it smaller and make it a flat deck and then you know put a snowman on it whatever you want. You can also use some extra fabric that has different prints on it. For myself I actually used Michael Miller's snowman fabric and they have a Santa fabric. I don't know the exact names. I will definitely put them on the screen somewhere here. But those fabrics I was able to cut out the little snowman and the little Santa and I used them as they were on my little train applique. I also used some gingerbread fabric of Michael Miller's and I just cut out some of the little gingerbread cookies and I put them in one of the box cars. So you don't have to just do shapes if you don't want. You can look through your fabric stash and if maybe there's a really cute print that you love cut that print out but just keep in mind that the smaller the pieces you cut the harder it can be to actually sew around all of those edges when you're actually sewing it in place now that you have all of your pieces cut out now it's time to pull out that heat and bond lay it so that it's glue side face down and the paper side is face up and you're going to trace all of these different templates onto your heat and bond trace onto that paper side but something to keep in mind as you're tracing all of these pieces onto your heat and bond you're working with the mirror image so whatever you see on your heat and bond paper it's actually going to end up flipped the other way when you are done so remember that you are working with the back side of your project 
when you are doing this step. Quick tip number two, if you have too many different template pieces and you're afraid that you're gonna start getting your pieces confused, what I suggest you do is write a number on your template itself and even write what it is. Maybe it's the front wheel, maybe it's the box car, or maybe it's the rectangle for the front of the train, whatever it is, Write that on your templates and then write that matching number onto the back piece of paper that you have cut out on your heat and bond. That will allow you to know what piece is what when you start putting everything together. Once you have traced all of your shapes onto your heat and bond, then it's time to rough cut all of those shapes out. Once you've rough cut all of those shapes out, it is now time to adhere them to the back of all of your different fabric scraps. Now make sure when you are doing this that the rough side to the heat and bond piece of paper, that is the glue side, is facing the wrong side of your fabric, the back side of your fabric. Then you can press those shapes in place, but depending on your fusible, of course, follow their instructions. If you're using heat and bond, I just wanna warn you, don't press it in place for too long. So I like to go between five to eight seconds, and that's about as far as I go because I find it adheres really nicely and then you can just adhere onto all of your different fabrics. And now it is time to cut out all of the fabric pieces. So because we rough cut all of our different templates, now you can see we've got that little bit of extra heat and bond around those edges so you're now going to follow your traced shapes and cut all of those shapes out. You can do this in a bunch of different ways. I really liked to use my sharp pair of small craft scissors. I also used a small rotary cutter as well as my regular rotary cutter. My regular one just did those big straight edges really nicely. And now that you have all of those pieces neatly cut out, it's time to start peeling the paper backing off of your fabric. But wait, don't do it until you know what that shape is because as you're peeling that paper backing off, if you did do my quick tip where you added those matching numbers, you're gonna lose the number. So I would suggest laying those pieces out wherever you're going to end up placing them. And then once you know where all of the pieces go, just start picking up the pieces and peeling off the paper and laying it back in place. Quick tip number three is if you are working with a bunch of layers of pieces or if you're working with smaller pieces, Pieces, it can be easier to place them onto your fabric by using a pair of tweezers. It's just a little bit more precise than using your hands. But that again is optional. Now that you have all of your individual pieces pressed exactly where you want them, it's time to stitch them in place. I have a very detailed tutorial on my YouTube channel, Tamara's Joy, and that tutorial will walk you through four different stitches that you can use to finish your raw edge applique and how to use those stitches properly. That video is also linked in the description down below. I am telling you, that description down below is full of a lot of helpful information, so make sure you check it out. Now for the contest nitty gritty details. This contest is open worldwide, which makes my Canadian heart very happy. And what you will do is you will post your photo of your train applique onto your Instagram and you're going to use the hashtag MMF train. You will also tag Michael Miller Fabrics and I would love it if you tagged me as well, Tamara's Joy, so that I can see your lovely projects. And you need to do this by December 12 of 2022. Your Instagram account does need to be made public for us to see your entries. However, if you don't want to make it public or if you don't even have an Instagram account but you still want to enter, you can. What you'll do is you will actually email your photos to marketing at michaelmillerfabrics.com and then you will be entered into the contest that way. You are of course encouraged to use Michael Miller Basics fabric but you don't have to. You can use whatever scraps you have on hand. And if you are curious what fabrics I used for my table runner and my little train applique, I used mainly the Michael Miller Fabrics Fairy Frost line. I am in love with this fabric line. So I pulled some fat quarters from their Fairy Frost Crayon box 
as well as some fabrics from their Noel bundle. And Michael Miller Fabrics has a bunch of other different Christmas prints, so I pulled from some of those extra prints as well. All of the details of the fabrics will be in the description down below. And now I am finally going to show you the prize. It is this gorgeous Fairy Frost Noel bundle. It comes with 12 fat quarters. I just love the Michael Miller Fairy Frost line. The winner is going to be announced on December 13th, 2022. Now it will be announced on Michael Miller Instagram page. I believe they're going to put it in their stories and you will also receive a private DM or a private email from them depending how you entered. But please make sure that it is coming directly from the source. So double check that it's coming from the actual Michael Miller Fabrics Instagram account or the actual Michael Miller Fabrics email account. I want you to be very sure of this because I would hate for you to have to deal with any scammers. It sucks, but it's the world we live in so keep your eye out and I hope that you will come find me on my YouTube channel Tamara's Joy. Please leave a comment on any of one of my videos and let me know that you came on over from the Michael Miller Fabrics channel and I hope that you will subscribe to Michael Miller Fabrics as well as Tamara's Joy. Hit that notification bell so that you don't lose us on YouTube and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Happy sewing. I hope you win. Let me hold up my project since I haven't done that yet. This is the adorable train table runner that I made to show you how to do this. I wanted to do two different trains. As you can see here, I'm going to stick it in front of my face a minute. As you can see here, it's an adorable little choo-choo train. And that one has the snowman on it. And then on this side, I'll just turn it over. You can see the little Santa train. I loved how it turned out. 